Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see some of the fixes or solutions for the VTX is not available error. So VTX is not available is a kind of error which you will get when you are trying to use the virtual box in Windows. So anyways, we are going to see the fixes one by one now. First of all, you have to check if your computer supports virtualization or not. The easy way to check it is just right click on your start button and click on task manager. Now once you have opened your task manager, you have to click on this performance tab. Then you have to click on your CPU. Then down under here, you can see the virtualization is enabled, which means my computer supports virtualization and it is enabled in the BIOS. If there is no mention of virtualization here or Hyper-V, that means your computer does not support it. And if you see disabled written here, that means it is disabled in your BIOS setting which we are going to see in the next step how to enable it now in the next step we have to enable hardware virtualization in bios setting now to do that you will have to look for the exact buttons which you have to press during the startup to activate the bios setting in most of the cases escape key can open up the boot menu using which you can access your bios setup now one of the easiest way of entering bios setup is to hold shift key while you are pressing the restart button here so i'll just do that click on restart anyway and windows is going to boot into recovery environment so using the recovery environment it's very easy to get into bios setup like from here you can click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options then from here you can click here on uefi firmware settings this is the one that we are looking for so either you can use the shortcut keys which are present for your computer or you can enter the bios setup like this now once you have entered your bios setup you have to look for different tabs in my msi computer you can see that i have this advanced tab and under this advanced tab i have this intel virtualization technology and it's enabled so you have to make sure that it is enabled for your computer as well and also you can enable vtd if it's present and that is all after that you can just click here on save and exit like this so you'll have to exit saving the changes now the next thing is to disable other windows virtualization components so windows has multiple optional virtualization features but if you want to use virtualbox you must disable all of them except the windows hypervisor platform feature now all you have to do is open your start menu and type app wiz dot cpl and hit enter then here you have to click on turn windows features on or off all right then windows features window is going to open up just scroll down and from here you have to uncheck virtual machine platform like this then uncheck windows subsystem for linux and then you have to click on ok windows is going to apply the changes and then you will have to restart your computer now after you restart, in the next step, we have to disable the core isolation features. Windows uses virtualization technology to offer security features through your Windows security app or Windows security program. However, only one program can use hardware virtualization at a time. So you must disable memory integrity if you need to use VirtualBox and other similar applications like VMware Workstation, which is right here on my desktop. So anyways, you can just hit start button and then search for Windows security and then you can open the app and then from here you have to click on this option device security and then click here on core isolation details and from here you have to turn memory integrity off and then you can close Windows security and restart your computer and then check if your error has resolved or not. 
if it has still not resolved then in the next step you can remove other virtualization applications to check if they are causing some kind of conflict with your virtual box and finally if that has also not helped open the install apps and then you can look for virtual box and uninstall it and try to download the latest version of virtual box from their official website and then reinstall it let me know in the comment section which of the fix has worked for you so that it can be helpful for the other users who are facing the same problem i'm going to see you in the next video don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching